Good morning everybody. Up and early this morning I've been out to Jumbo Records in Leeds, fantastic music shop, and I was lucky enough to get the new Half Speed Master of McCartney album for out for the second drop of Record Store Day. What I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to show you this, I'm going to get it opened up, I'm then going to have a play of it and I'm going to compare it to this version here which is the, that was the 2017 reissue based on the Archive Collection remaster and I'm going to see, I'm going to give an honest opinion of whether I think actually this is, this is an improvement or not. Uh, so let's have a look, before I unseal it, let's just have a look, there is, there is the main cover there. Uh, get you a shot of that so you can have a read of that. I've, I'm also going to show you some photographs that I'm going to take of this. Uh, well, in fact, I already have taken photographs of this. I'll show you those in a little while. Um, and on the back there, so it's got this, it's got this Obi strip. I imagine this will come off once I've unsealed it. Uh, but there's some information there. Like I say, close up photographs to come. So let's get this opened up and first of all, I'll compare the, uh, the actual sort of cover. Okay, so I'm just having a little look. There is an obvious difference between these. Subtle, but obvious. Uh, so this is the 2017 reissue. That's quite glossy um, and inside on the gatefold. This isn't. This is, uh, it's much more matte. It's not extremely matte, but it's uh, certainly not, certainly not glossy. So I don't know if, try and get some reflections there. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera at all. Um, again, on the back, new one, not glossy. That one glossy. Uh, and it's the same in the gatefold. This is a gatefold, by the way, this new one. There you go. It's got the regular information on there. Um, again, it's glossy in the uh, in the 2017 reissue. So it's probably already going to be difficult to pick this up in the shop, but no doubt there'll be loads on eBay very, very soon and potentially Discog. So it will be, it's going to be out there if you want to get it. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to play the 2017 reissue. Have a listen to that, just get that fresh in my ears, and then I'm going to have a play of this uh, and see how I think it compares, and I will be right back in a moment. <laughs> Just played both versions back to back. Very interesting. So I'm just I'm just actually going to show you the record itself. This is the sleeve that it comes in. It's a card sleeve, not a poly lined, but the record comes out nice and easily. Uh, not like some of the recent McCartney ones. It's great to have this on an Apple label, um, as you'll have seen on the uh, the run through that I just did. Um, so what did I think of it? Well. I thought the bass sounded really good, really smooth, which I thought is interesting because that's the, that's what I tend to find I prefer on high res digital versions. It, to me, the the bass seems smoother, and I certainly noticed this on several songs here. Every night sounded superb. It was the bass on that would be something that first sort of grabbed me attention. As that's that's been really nice. The acoustic guitar in Every Night was great. This is never going to be the most high fidelity album in the world, no matter what you do to it. And some of the times, like um, uh, Man We Was Lonely, the vocals still sort of had that sort of quite distorted quality to it. Fine, that's what this album is. Uh, but Karina Craw, that which I I personally love, the drums sounded really good on that. And yeah, I think this is this is a slight step up from the Archive Remaster. I don't think it blows it out of the water. The Archive Collection version is still very nice and very worthy of having. I think this is just a, a slight incremental increase. Maybe if you've got a much better system than I've got. I mean, I've got a, I've got a good setup. I haven't got a fantastic setup. If you've got a fantastic setup, you might notice the difference more. So is this worth getting? Well, for me, it was. You make your own decision. I think there is a bit of an increase in, uh, in bass smoothness and quality overall. And if you want that sort of matte finish if that's the kind of thing that bothers you in the obi strip then yeah it's it's worth picking up um but don't be disheartened with your archive collection version because that's still really good so there you go hope that has been a useful overview for you um and i will see you again very soon cheers bye bye